Her strokes and her technique are so beautiful. And she didn't breathe into that wall. You could see that. She took full advantage of that final push and touch for a fantastic time of 3.51.29. Harmanani maintaining that split time. She had a 31.20 on that one. Very fast. She's on pace for a solid swim and a time that I'm sure she'll be very happy with. When we talked to Coach Peterson earlier this week, he was talking about Jessica Prine in particular and her development, and he compared her to a diesel engine, and I feel like to swim this race and execute it, you almost have to be. How did you prepare yourself uh, mentally for competition? Glad you said mentally, because that's almost the biggest preparation for a diver. You know, we train our, our muscles to know what to do, so they always say to dive dumb. Don't think. Don't think too much. Maybe one or two corrections that your coach tells you, maybe about your arms or your core or where your head should be or even on the entry. But overall, don't, don't think about the dive too much because there is that fear element that you're balancing when it comes to diving. A lot of times you'll hear coaches say, I want my diver to, to nail the backs and the gainers. And, and this is the backs. It's one of the harder optionals on the three meter springboard and she did it very nicely, a five and a five and a half. She stays on her start, a tight tuck and kicks straight up, just over rotates on the bottom, but finishes the dive. That was a lower degree of difficulty dive, done beautifully, a gorgeous entry. You'll see it in slow motion here. She shows control from the start and then such a clean entry, she finds that hole and completely disappears. First diver to do a reverse twister of the competition. A really beautiful dive, a hard dive, because you're twisting into the springboard. So you want to find that momentum with a nice distance, which she had. Really nice dive. Had power, showed control, got six and a halfs on that inward two and a half. I'll take it. Kept her head up on the start, which is so important on the inwards. Really fast twist in the air. She did a nice job of getting right into that twist. You can see right here, keeps the arms up, executes a beautiful twist, lines it up. Disappears completely in the water. On one meter, especially the judges looking for that control and executing the dives above the springboard, which we're seeing a lot of these women do. One of the higher degree of difficulty dives in the competition, a two and a half in the pike position. Takes a lot of power and strength doing it in the pike. She makes it look easy. Really nice two and a half. Looking at that, you almost would say that's ready to do a three and a half on three meters. So much power and and height on that dive. Really nice tight little tuck. Really nice twister. So much power, high degree of difficulty dive. And she got sixes on it, so she's definitely really happy with that. Not one, but two twists. Backstroke's an interesting one because you can't really see the competition until you flip turn under the water. You can kind of see them in your peripherals. Your main focus is really to keep your head as still as possible. When we asked Dane Peterson about Jessica Prine, he said she has a large capacity to do work at a high level for a long amount of time. And in a race like this, you want exactly that. And you can see a nice tight shot of her technique and her fundamentals. Slightly slower split time on that second half, but you could see, it, as you pointed out, her underwater was incredible as she just floats into the wall here, but she takes such advantage off the walls. And you can see it, it pushes her ahead of the competition in such a quick race like the 100 fly. Brian with the lead in lane five. Gring with a faster split of 37-35 over Prine's 37.50. So we'll see who can close this race out on the freestyle. With a significant lead, JMU is maintaining the speed. That was a fantastic start off the block there. And here's another JMU squad in lane five coming up behind their senior group. 